Um, your next storyteller is the current pastor at Mackinac Christian Church. She graduated from Eureka College and the University of Chicago. In her free time, she loves to hike, ride her bicycle, and play with her dog, Gunther. Welcome, Judith Guy. It was 
a difficult year for me. But finally, the end was near. But first, we had to do our standardized tests. And this particular um, day, um, it was time for the math portion. And we'd already completed some portions of the test, and all of them are timed, and I have yet to finish one portion. We were all seated in rows, and I was near the back of the class, and Mrs. Crawford was giving her strict instructions about how to bubble in the answers, about closing our big books when she says time, and about beginning when she says, and not before. And she warned us about cheating. And I don't remember what the consequences were, but they were life-altering. Very scary. <laughs> we had already opened our books to the first part of the test as she was speaking. And I was so nervous and anxious. I just, I wanted to show people that I was smart enough, that, that I was good enough. But I couldn't do that if I didn't finish the test. What would they know? So as she continued to talk, I started to peek at the first question. And I started to make small calculations on the side of the test. And then she told us to begin. Mrs. Crawford first went to Brittany, who had been constantly in trouble all year long. And she went up to the desk, and she just yelled at her, I saw you start early, and you are lucky I don't take the test from you right now and leave it at that. You can keep going, but no, I am watching you. Everything was quiet again, and everyone focused back on the test. I did the same, trying to stay cool. Then, she was right next my desk. But instead of yelling, she just knelt down and whispered, I saw you too. And that was it. She walked away, and I did the best I could to finish. She never talked to me about it again, never mentioned it to my parents, but I knew she knew. I knew she knew that I wasn't as good as I appeared that I had cheated. This guilt stayed with me a long time. I remember in fifth and sixth grade, I occasionally saw Mrs. Crawford in the halls or at recess, and I would just hide from her and cry, and I would practice the apology that I never gave. Today, I am a very different person from that scared and unconfident girl. But I think about her often and the guilt she carried with her for so long. I look back at this girl and part of me just wants to laugh endearingly at her and how seriously she took life. But most, I want to cry for her and hug her and all of the other children and people who think the goodness in them is so brittle and fragile. And I want to say to them, the goodness is stronger than that the goodness remains. Yeah. Uh -huh.